Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Automation Expert Training. I'm your host, Jan Romada, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can download our application from the software to the controller. So let's go to the presentation. So basically, now what we call download is called deploy. So what we're going to do today is uh, make a deployment of our application into our the controller. So let's just put down. So at the beginning of this training, I mentioned that we have two access or two important access that we have in the top part. This one is for the system files and this one for deployment and diagnostic. So if we click over here, we we'll just go to this path and select deploy and diagnostic, we should be able to see this view. And here basically are all the devices that we have configured in the logical um, in the logical view. If we go to the software, this one, this one, yes. So if you go to system, you can see that we have configured this logical device. And if we go over here, the physical device and then the logical device, which is this one. So if we go to deploy and diagnostic, we should be able to see this device. So if we take a look over here, as soon as we check in actions, there is a, a lot of things that we need to do or we can do. So before logging in, okay, probably you can make a compile of the application. So let's try to do that first. Uh, here, uh, here, okay. So let's compile. Mm -hmm. and that's it so if you pay attention over here we have a few icons of a status if it's everything in grace it means that we don't have connection with real target then here we should be able to see a few things so action in progress the build okay this compile is already finished which is good and then we have next steps here we should be able to log in but as i mentioned before in order to log in, it's important that these uh, the credentials are downloaded into the controller. So in order to check that, you can go to physical devices and then select this star monitoring. If you have this, it means that it's not reachable. So probably what we need to do is to check the connection. Or in my case, I need to turn off the set scholar. Okay. for it and you can see here the credentials so we need to validate the credentials in this case so right click configure security okay going to trust just in case okay so mm -hmm, just wait for it and that's it so the credentials that we have here are downloaded into the target as soon as we validate this we should be able to go here and select login. It's connecting. You can see all the stuff over here going on. I have a different application. Okay, so I'm going to log in so we can do something else. So I have ready login into the controller. If you want, you can log out. So right now you can see there are a few things, different icons over here. Um, if I'm wrong, I believe I already logged into the controller before using different projects, otherwise you should be able to receive um, a pop-up message so you can introduce those credentials. Okay, so let's go back to the presentation. Login. So as soon as you log in, you have different things. Okay, this one over here is about the application. So basically, this means that the application you have is different. That's why probably what we need to do is to deploy the application. Then we have this icon over here, the lock. That basically is related to the force variables. If we have any force variable, if we go over here uh, into the software, you can see there is no force value. The application is different, okay? And if we go over here, this is related to the boot project. 
So in this case, I have a different application already stored there with the right boot project. It doesn't mean that is the actual project that I have on the software. And here, this I is regarding the um, the status of the controller. Okay, as you can see over here, doesn't match the deploy application with the variables. Okay, so what we need to do now is to compile and then deploy. Additionally, I recommend to make before the deploy a clean and then make the deploy. So let's go to the software. And uh, not this one, no, this. So let's go out, login. As you can see, it's trying to connect, doing everything. Okay, yes, I want to log in. And there we go. So now what we need to do is to let's compile this so you can see the actual process compiled bit finish successful here deploy let's just make a clean all yes i want to clean all here you can see the runtime status of the controller and now you can see if it's clean clean successful now we just need to deploy our application deploying okay it's doing something over there and starting persistent test. Okay, no problem. Here it means that the different boot project. So deploy necessary. Deploy. Deploying. Starting. Check the output for the file. So in this particular case. I don't know what I've done in the previous one, but what we can do is to persist data, delete persistent data. So delete persistent data, yes. Delete persistent data successful. So the PLC is clean, so we can make the deploy now. Deploying. <laughs> Starting. And there we go. Deploy successful. Okay. So I don't know what I have in the other application, but as you can see, I have that error message over there. I just went to here, persistent data, and delete the persistent data. So now you can see the PLC isn't stopped. So what we can do is to now in run. Okay. But before doing that, as I have this one in red, I just want everything in green. What we can do is to boot project, set running project as boot project. <laughs> and you can see now everything is in green. So now that the PLC is in stop with everything in green, we just need to uh, device action run. And now the application is running. So oh, it's running over there. So what we can do now is to go to the watch and add variables over here and the visibles so if we just waiting for it to stop okay so you can hear the conveyor running uh, so if we go to our application inside the resource that we have we can make a watch over here just okay so what we can do now is to watch add to watch as you can see the variables over here of the inputs and outputs that i have okay here you can watch and you can see the interface that i have with the actual values okay so this is what you can do when you are online with equipment. Now, if you are in the debugging, you can really see point to point where uh, where is the actual value and everything. But the idea now here, instead of doing this, is to use with the interface, with the graphical interface that we have for the cut. Okay, so that is what we are going to do later. But the idea now is to show you how you can deploy the application, okay? Which is very simple once you know how to do it. But um, 
just log in. First, you need to check the credentials on the controller, as I show you in the system. When you go to the system on physical devices, monitor, you just need to double check that this is already fine. Okay, so you have the credentials valid, like I have. Then you just need to compile your application just in case, and then log in. As I showed you before, in my case, I have some errors here about the uh, persistent data. I just delete that part, delete, and then deploy again to make it work. So let's go back to the presentation and just double check if there is something missing. I already explained this part. Uh, it's okay. So we have opened this, load in the controller, clean the controller, deploy the application, set the boot, and chain for stop to run. So this is it and how we can download our application, basically deploy the application into the controller using the EcoStructure Automation Expert. So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.